y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, today we are talking about a pop culture fan favorite sensation, all the things. It's a throwback from best-selling author V.C. Andrews. Y'all remember the Flowers in the Attic books? Like it was like a series of books and then there was the movie and it was like a whole thing back in the day. Well, it's inspired a new limited series on Lifetime and that kicks off on July 9th at eight o'clock and it's four episodes and it's called Flowers in the Attic, The Origin. And we're gonna learn the backstory about some of these characters because this is the prequel. So we'll learn about the Flowers in the Attic characters and why they act the way they do in Flowers in the Attic. I can't wait. So in the house today, I have one of the stars of the series, Jemima Ruper, and we're gonna talk about what we can expect. Stay tuned, you definitely don't wanna miss today's show. Hi, Jamika. Hi, welcome to Check the Rhymes, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? Doing well. I'm super excited about Flowers in the Attic, the origin. I even went back yesterday to rewatch Flowers in the Attic, the movie, and yeah. As an adult, I had never watched it as an adult. And so I thought, wow, a lot of things went over my head back then. But I wanted to know, <laughs> did you watch the, did you watch it, the original to um, prepare for this role? Um, I did actually, I watched um, uh, a little bit of it and I read the book as well. And um, uh, I mean, it was kind of it, it, fascinating. I mean, getting to watch the film immediately kind of like taps you into, that genre in in the best way and um and, and that darkness and um and the kind of you know, sumptuousness of it um there's something so kind of weirdly satisfying about it all and um uh and i guess because it feels a little bit naughty um and right. and that is i i hope what our series does is is kind of like take that and, and run with it. Um, and I hope that it uh, proves as entertaining as the novels are because those, those books are page turners. Like, they, uh, are. You, they <laughs> suck you in and I'm really hoping that our series sucks everyone in too. Now you were, um, you had just given birth and then, then you go off to film this. Like how did you go from like, you're, you know, you're happy in your personal life like yes got a new baby you know doing all these things and now you got to turn the switch and be like you know go diving into this dark gothic tale like how did you make that switch and then how did you switch back after filming um uh, very great question um i to be honest <laughs> i'll level with you here <laughs> i am always happier when i'm at work like i just i love being at work not that i don't love my children um at all um but for me i find it helpful uh i find it easier to be mum when i've got the other thing going on as well mm -hmm. and um you know my my second baby was in lockdown in the uk in the second lockdown and you know we uh, uh, you know all our lives i'm sure everyone can relate you know had closed down and um there really wasn't very much going on and then to sort of go away to go away to get on a plane to go to another country um, and on this great big adventure to be able to take my family with me as well was incredible and it kind of uh, you know for me it was fuel it, it helped me feel the you know alive and like myself again mm -hmm. which helps me at home um, be be a better mom and then uh, helps me at work because it's much easier to, to sort of leave leave the work at work and switch it on and off and um, and ultimately sort of enjoy both more, or for me, that's definitely the case. Wow, so you know, I will, there are like, I feel like there are like cult fans that really will notice things in the series. So I wondered if there's anything that will like symbolize or, or that they should be looking for to say, okay, yes, I, I know this from the book or I know this from the movie. Is there anything like that, like any symbolism? Yes, there definitely is. And there's definitely sort of things that echo things that happen later. Um, so I think fans, fans of the story and fans of the novel will really get those things and they'll see, um, you know, Olivia, the certain decisions she makes, certain things she does uh, are foreshadowing what is to come mm. many, many, many years later. Um, and we do actually sort of episode four, 
we we kind of get to the point where flowers in the attic the novel starts and so we do actually get to that place um, and it's hopefully quite a ride oh i can't wait and so you know olivia watching flowers in the attic olivia is we just hate her so <laughs> will we find some kind of empathy or sympathy for her watching the series i really hope so because <laughs> it's gonna be a long series <laughs> Um, no, well, this is so funny because um, when I first read the synopsis for the novel, um, I, 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 yeah, I was completely appalled by this character and I thought mm. there's absolutely no way that we can chart this woman and that we can, you know, explain away this behavior because this is awful. <laughs> and uh, I was immediately wrong. Like I immediately just started episode one and just suddenly I was reading this, this woman that I completely related to. Uh, and I was like, ah, oh, ha, huh, okay. And you know, I, and I got sucked into the story. And I think that's what's really clever in the scripts is that um, you have this, this complex woman and you hopefully, uh, understand her, empathize with her, can relate to her, um, and therefore when certain things happen and she makes certain decisions, you can kind of understand it. Um, and uh, I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> I'm not so <laughs> sure. Probably shouldn't be admitting this. Um, but uh, I, I think it's it's really nuanced as you know all human beings are. They're, they're, you know, people aren't purely bad or purely evil um, or, or purely good. There's a lot in between. And that's, um, mm -hmm. I think that's what we're, we're dealing with, with her. Well, I cannot wait to check this out. Flowers in the Attic, The Origin airs on Lifetime on Saturday, July 9th at eight o'clock. Again, that's on Lifetime. I'm super excited to see you as the grandmother and I'm going to, I'm going to reserve my judgment and just see like if she's likable. <laughs> <In the beginning. laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. Thank you, Shamika.